Hello again. This time I'm going to be doing another print with this nice copper filament I got from 3D Filler Print. I'm going to be using my trusty RepRap Pro Ormrod 2 3D printer. I'm going to be printing another head shell for this record player in this Philips radiogram. The existing one works just fine but it's printed in white PLA and really doesn't look the part. Printing it in copper should look a lot better. Okay, here we are. It's printed. I used the same settings as I did with the little owl I printed last time. In fact these are very similar settings to what I was using with the uh, white and black PLA also. I printed a small brim as it was quite tall and I was a little concerned that the head might catch and knock it. Okay, I'm going to try and take it off the um, glass now. Should just snap off with a bit of luck. It's actually really quite firmly on. You can see that doesn't, it does not want to come off. Right. There we go, snapped off nice and cleanly. There's a small amount of surface damage or failure to bond properly. Maybe the filament's not quite hot enough. You can see that in the middle there. Um, there's also a bit of a problem here. I think this is where the um, layers start. Seems quite repetitive, just all the way down one edge there. And there's a little bit that needs to be cleaned up around inside as well but that won't show so I'm going to try filing this I'm not sure how well it will file the black stuff tends to discolour when you file it the white stuff is unsurprisingly fine but we'll give it a go and we'll see how well we get on well here it is cleaned up not too bad obviously where I've had to file down on the top there it's sort of broken the grain of the print so it does look a bit different but I think it's passable especially where it's going to be inside a radiogram where it's going to be fairly out of sight uh, the rest of it's cleaned up okay I haven't done the holes yet I'm gonna have to drill them out uh, for the M3 screws um, one thing maybe my imagination we'll find out later but it feels heavy now this copper filament isn't conductive as I've proved in a previous video so I don't think it's full of copper but maybe I'm wrong maybe there is lots of metal in there just not conductive in some way and maybe it is actually heavier than the white PLA okay I've cleaned up the 3D print here it is in fact I had to clean it up a fair bit more than I had in the previous bit of the video. I did a test fitting of this end against the tone arm and found that it uh, was far too tight and just wouldn't go on so I had to clean that out with files quite a lot. The copper ones printed very flush with nice squeezed filament against the uh, print bed. The white one you can see the Z height wasn't set quite so well. Now I don't really know if that was a problem but I don't remember having to clean the white one out anything like as much as I had to do with this copper one in order to get it to fit. Okay so I'm going to follow the general arrangement of the white one that I've done before. This one here. So I've got the head shell, I've got the cartridge this is a very cheap, in fact the cheapest I could find, ceramic cartridge. Now it's actually stereo, it's got four pins on the back, one for each channel and two grounds. I'm going to use very fine wire to wind around pairs of pins, basically to short them out so that it becomes a mono cartridge effectively. And then I've got two little wires with crimps on the end these will go on to the pins on the back so one will go onto the ground pins 
one will go on to the channel pins and they'll come out to little screws here now I've already tapped drilled and tapped the holes here I'll cover that in a separate video so we've got three screws here to carry these signals here and also clamp on to the contacts inside the third one is actually on the top and that has to be shorted with the one on the uh, well on the left looking from the back so I've got a spare bit of wire there to do that too and then I use a bit of double sided foam pad to actually stick it into the head shell now it is a working design as I've said in a previous video it was uh, I think print number five before I got it to this stage it's certainly not perfect and it certainly could do with a bit more improvement but uh, I'm going to put it together like this and um, give it a go okay I've got it ready now probably need a little tweaking but time to give it a test okay before I test it time to give it a quick weigh these scales are accurate to about half a gram okay that's showing up about eight maybe eight and a half grams the original one is closer to seven so there definitely is a weight difference it's not just my imagination now of course it's possible that the wires or the screws are making a slight difference um, so I may have a look at that the other options are to actually take a bit more plastic off the uh, the shell so there's some scope for drilling out the back a little bit more those flat areas are actually solid the whole thing is printed in solid PLA so I could drill them out very carefully and reduce the weight down a bit more I could also probably remove a little bit more material from the edges sort of round about here Okay, I've got it back on the radiogram now. Let's give it a test. Well, that seems to work okay. It's going to need a little more attention. The head shell is still a little heavy, as I mentioned before. As it happens, the radiogram has a few other faults, including a click every couple of um, turns of the turntable, which you might be able to hear. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and if you have enjoyed this video, Please subscribe to Mr. RG Stuff.